Kenny and Michael and I worked together for many times, you know, many years, and um, this is it was um, such a labor of love. I, I gotta cue that. I gotta cue that. Yeah. That shouldn't trigger on that its own. Be a special. It, it was important to sort of give the dancers the type of experience that would prepare them for being on stage with them. Yeah, that, that's a cool move. Okay. A cool move, but yeah. it goes spreads out too much at the end. There's no feeling like, you know, being on the stage in front of 100,000 people who are, you know, just cheering and, you know, so loud that you can't hear the music, you know. Um, so that's what brought us to such an elaborate audition for This Is It. When Michael told me he thought that we should have all new dancers, I said, great, well, it should be the best ones in the world and we should do an internet search and we should invite them from their home countries to America to, you know, dance for you. And so we uh, orchestrated a a casting at the Nokia Theater in Los Angeles over three days, and he selected them. Well, Michael was the ar architect of all of his creative processes, and, you know, um, for me as an artist and collaborator, it was always so great, you know, to create without boundaries or limits, you know. He, he wants you to go as far out as you can and think outside of the box and, you know, think as big and impressive as you can, and then we hone it and tailor it to make, you know, sense for the experience. But um, that was one of the things I'll always remember is that, you know, there were no boundaries. You always felt so nourished and always felt so, you know, appreciated. I think Michael brought immense talent and imagination and creativity to the world of dance and able to, you know, take what he'd experienced and, and, and create his own language, you know, that spoke to so many and continues to all over the world. That's all for love. L-O-V-E. Oh, yeah.